Hey guys, it's me, Myri Barnes, and I am back with another video. So today is Saturday, September 25th, and it's currently 4.11, and I have a blanket review for you all. So I'm very excited to announce and show you guys this baby, finally, finally, finally. And I do want to apologize if I'm not as happy. I was really, really happy to show you guys this baby, but... Once again, I'm just a little frustrated with the postal services. Um, they're always mixing up my package. My best friend sent me a birthday package and we got the neighbor's package and they haven't checked their mailbox yet. So let's hope that my package is in there, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm just a little frustrated. So hopefully my package turns up somewhere, somehow. But I have Royal Born Claudia under this blanket, so I do want to show you guys the details and things like that. So this baby was officially completed today at 3.45 p.m. And I actually rooted the hair, because this baby does have rooted hair, and about, I rooted the hair in three days. And I painted, it only took me about like two or three weeks to paint the baby, but I had to only paint the baby on like certain days. Like I didn't, I don't get all day every day to paint or to root, which is why this baby has taken me a little longer than usual. So yeah, but I'm still excited to show you guys this baby. So let's just go ahead and go and start with the feet. So here are the feet. You guys can't see. I'm going to zoom in. So you guys can see the feet and focus it. There we go. So here are the feet. I love this baby's feet because one of the legs are bent and the other legs are like straight. And this baby is so um, cuddly and cozy. Let me bring the boppy a little forward. So here are the feet and the legs. And I do want to get this video uploaded by tomorrow. So I'm not going to take a while doing this because longer videos take a while to edit. But look. We have some hands peeking out right here. We have the open hand. We have the fist. I gave this baby some veining, some beauty marks, and this baby is on a gathered body, so it has the chest and the butt gathered. And so now time for the face. Are you guys ready? You guys can see that hair. All right, one, two, three. You guys couldn't even see it. There you go. So this is Real Born Claudia Sleep by Bountiful Baby. And I just finished um, this baby. I would have finished this baby yesterday, but I was waiting for the glue to dry because I didn't um, put the glue in the head until yesterday. And so I had to wait about 24 hours for it to officially or fully dry. And so that is the reason why... The baby's now finished today. Um, if it was finished yesterday, like completed, head and everything on, it would have had the same birthday as my mom's. But here's this baby. It had little um, beauty marks and scratches and eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then eyebrows and a magnet for a pacifier. So this baby is the full package with rooted hair. Nice and full rooted hair. It will look better when I do it, but the baby's head has been sitting upside down for 24 hours while the glue was waiting to dry. So it looks really messy, but this baby was rooted with ruby red mohair. And the way I weighted this baby is to uh, be floppy and flop back like a real newborn size baby. So that is... Wilborn Claudia, we're going to get Wilborn Claudia dressed and yeah, so also another thing about the postal service um, with the mixing up the package, I had some outfits for Wilborn Claudia in there to go home with and to try on because I bought like a whole bunch of lots and yeah, we don't know where that's at. So we love it. We don't. I'm just turning down the brightness on the ring light. So that is not too bright. Okay, so I'm going to put the baby in this diaper. I did dress the baby up. I couldn't help it because I finished the baby and couldn't root for a, another week. 
So I did put the baby head on the body, not all the way because it kept falling off and I didn't want it too tight. But I did put the baby together because I was just so excited. And so I did put an outfit on this baby as well while I was waiting for me to finish. And um, all of this hair that you guys see is her or his hair. So yeah, this baby has a lot of hair, but... Yeah, the hair is not coming out. These are just loose hairs because you guys, well, you might not know, but when rooting with any type of hair, especially mohair, it gets literally everywhere. It gets everywhere. So that is why you guys will see it everywhere. Like it's literally all over my clothes too. And I did do a video of me rooting Claudia and painting this baby. It is up on my membership. So if you think you'll be interested in looking at videos like that then go ahead and join my membership because i rooted all of her and i only painted a little bit like the beginning stages of her but that's going to be on there as well but i put uh her in this outfit it was messiah i mean not messiah sorry zaire's but we're gonna put her in a gender neutral outfit i know i keep saying her but it's because the sculpt is originally a girl but we're gonna put this baby in a gender neutral outfit um, this Carter's onesie and it's size newborn. It says mommy makes me happy with these Matching footed pants and it just has so many different pretty colors on it So I don't want to cover up her feetsies because I just love it so much but we're gonna have to and then I'm gonna comb the baby's hair and put a uh a headband on and a hat so you guys can see the baby as a boy or a girl i know it won't really well it might because the outfit is gender neutral so you guys can see whether you like this baby as a boy or a girl and let me know by commenting down below at the end what you guys see so we're gonna get this baby dressed and i'm so happy that i'm finally officially done painting this baby so this baby is painted with genesis heat set paint this baby is varnished um she does have a magnet inside of her mouth for pacifiers and she wears newborn size clothing you could fit some preemie on her i just don't like my baby's clothes to be too snug on them and i know if i got this baby preemie clothes it would be too tight and so i feel like the newborn is just right for this baby this baby is on a 17 inch body, however this baby is 18 inches so if you would like to swap out the body yourself you could go ahead and do so to give it that extra inch. But um, yeah as you guys can see she or he fits this newborn onesie perfectly and I will have this baby listed on Mercari and you guys do know that I will have to make the prices more higher because Mercari does take out a selling fee so I wouldn't recommend buying this baby on there when you can get it cheaper by purchasing directly through me i'm just saying if you're interested in this baby but i have tons of references um so if you need any then let me know because i can have them or i have like feedback or whatever because i sold tons of babies before so and if you ever want to see how i do my box packings i have a whole playlist on my channel of all my box packings and i'm doing my box packings differently now i'm doing them more better and i just bought like a whole bunch of stuff so i can make my box packings so nice and pretty so this will be the first baby well this baby or scarlet whichever one sells first will be the first baby to go home with my new box packing style and i can't wait so this outfit fits this baby perfectly so this is a size newborn so like i said i wouldn't put premium on this baby but you could because the baby is little but not too little oh my gosh look how precious this baby is guys so now we're going to do the hair and so we have our spray bottle right here we're going to get this baby's hair nice and wet because uh it is curvy it's i rooted this baby with uh ruby red okay i just got like <laughs> I just got this baby all wet and I didn't even notice but I did with this baby with curvy black um ruby red mohair so it does have like a little curve to it which I love and we are going to take our time combing out this baby's hair because like I said the hair was upside the head was upside down waiting for like the hair to finish um 
being uh, glued or sealed or whatever. So we're gonna take our time, and you definitely want to make sure when you have baby with a baby with rooted hair to just take your time while doing the hair. There's no rush. It's best to start at the ends when you have a baby with like mohair if it's like really curly but this baby hair is just curved at the bottom so that's why i am starting at the top but if you have a baby that has um curly hair then you definitely want to start at the bottom of the hair so we're just taking our time and combing out this baby's hair i'll probably just go ahead and speed the rest of this up so you guys don't have to see me take forever to do the hair <laughs> Okay, so now that I got this baby's hair all nice and combed out, I am just going to take my brush and brush the hair. But you can style this baby hair in different direction. This baby does have cute little eyelashes, guys. Like, oh my gosh. This is the first time I rooted eyelashes. And I like them a lot. So, yeah. You can style this baby hair, like, any way. I just want to play with it a little bit. And see how I like it. Um, you can do, like, mohawk and other things of that sort. But, yeah. So, this baby is Roborn Claudia asleep. And I think this baby came out so wonderful. And yeah, so let me show you guys the baby's hair again. So here's the baby's hair. We're going to focus that. Head full of hair. I didn't get it super, super wet. I know it looked like I did, but I didn't. And um, what I did yesterday was like I curled it with my fingers like this. To give it like this little wave to it sorry guys that's my ring light that just came um that just turned off but this is the baby's hair it's nice and full and then it's thinner at the top that's just a style that i wanted to do and as you guys can see this baby is like just so cute and cuddly and definitely floppy so now we're going to Turn back on the ring light <laughs> because no one told it to turn off because as you guys can see, it does not give this baby justice if I didn't have the ring light on. So we are going to turn that back on and we are going to go ahead and finish off this video. So we're back. In my last video of me changing Zaire, I said that at the end of it, I said I wanted a ring light, another one. And now you guys can see why. I don't know. This one like turns off. I think if it's on too long. I don't think if it's hot because it wasn't hot when I touched the base of it. But first we're going to try on the headband so you guys can see this baby a little more girly. Aww. And I will put like a boyish, a more boyish outfit on and then a girlish outfit on. Um, but those clothes haven't got here yet. So... Yeah, that's why I am just putting on the gender neutral outfit first and then I do a separate video of me putting this baby in a boyish outfit and a more girlish outfit. So, here's the baby with the headband on. So cute. So precious. And then let's try the hat. We're going to borrow our brother's hat, the silicone. <laughs> Because he came with this hat and it's so cute. So I've been putting it on this baby. And I think, I don't know. I think this baby can be either. Either boy or a girl. But it's really up to the new mom or dad. They want the baby to be a boy or a girl. So here's the baby as a baby boy. Let's tie these strings up. Let's see. OMG. Look at that baby. How cute is this baby, guys? And this is probably one of the darkest babies that I've done. So I'm very proud of myself to finally starting to achieve that darker African-American skin tone. Because my babies have been fairly 
light so i'm so happy that i finally was able to achieve a darker skin tone so yeah if you guys want to see more pictures of this baby i haven't taken any yet but i'm gonna take some today then you could check out my instagram because i'll probably post them on there so yeah that's the baby with the hat on so you guys let me know in the comments below if this baby is all boy or if this baby is all girl or you can't decide like me because i'm stuck in between so before i let you guys go i do want to say that this baby does have a magnet in its mouth for a magnetic pacifier i probably said that in the beginning but i do want to show you guys that it works so this one is scarlet's pacifier just a nook and i think they're on the right side but it doesn't fit like properly because this was like designed for scarlet so it does look funny but i do want to show you guys that this baby does have a magnet so this is Scarlett's pacifier that Scarlett will go home with. And then I did magnetize her using Zaire's Nook pacifier. So she fits this pacifier a little bit better than the other one. Did I do it on the wrong side? Oh, I didn't. It's just it's not magnetized for her. So that's why it looks a little funny too. But... Yeah, so she does have a magnet for a pacifier. And uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say one more thing. Oh, she will go home with a pacifier that's magnetized for her. I just bought a whole bunch of magnets, so yay. But she will go home with a pacifier. I'm just not going to magnetize it until someone buys her and until I know if they want a boy or a girl because I have boy pacifiers and I have girl pacifiers. So that's when I will magnetize a pacifier for this baby once I know if they're going to go home as a boy or a girl. And I am going to take you guys down so you guys can see the eyelashes because I rooted eyelashes on this baby. And I am going to take the hat off. Oh, it's going to mess up the hair just so you guys can see the hair a little better. But oh my gosh, this ruby red hair is such great quality and I'm definitely going to be using it on all of my babies because it's amazing. But let me go ahead and take you guys down so you guys can see this baby some more. Okay, so here is Roborn Claudia. She has tons of veining. And I really, really like how I did this baby. Sorry guys, I didn't change the settings on my camera yet. I know I said I was going to. Never did. <laughs> but here are the hands cute little mole right there two moles on her his face eyebrows we're not going to talk about the eyebrows because we had a little mishap but they still look really cute um the eyebrows are a dark brown color which i decided to do and then can we get a look at the eyelashes i think you guys can see the eyelashes a little bit Let's see if I can zoom in. Oops, a little bit there right here. I just finished cutting the eyelashes earlier today. But yeah, here's the eyelashes. This is the side that I messed up on for the eyebrows and the eyelashes. <laughs> but I think this baby's still cute. Oh, there's also a cute little scratch on this baby's nose, which I forgot to say. And then I did say the one above or on the eyelid. So here is Roborn Claudia asleep and I do hope you guys like this baby and enjoyed this video. I'll be doing one more video of me changing this baby which will be coming later on this week. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications so that you guys don't miss that video. But yeah, it's such a perfect newborn sized baby and I want me another newborn baby. But I want me a newborn baby girl because I don't have one. And it was so hard for me to not keep this baby. So someone better snatch this baby up before I decide to keep it. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at my underscore reborns. Go ahead and follow my friend Alexis Reborns101 on Instagram as well as subscribe to her on youtube because she is posting back to back and she's very consistent and her videos are amazing so definitely check out her channel as well and if you want to check out my macy's go ahead and see all the cute baby clothes and items that i have on there i think something is actually wrong with my macy's link so i am going to 
hopefully I remember, but I am going to see if I can fix it. And if you guys haven't joined my membership, go ahead and join it because 